Okay, here we are for another episode of Choose Your Path with me, your host, Sharon Tell Durskale, celebrity publicist, motivational speaker, and number one international best-selling author of the number one habit series for entrepreneurial success. I really appreciate you guys coming in. Hello. I know this is a different time and day. We are doing this on a Friday at 6.30 p.m., but it's still going to be a great time. We're going to have an amazing time. How are you doing, Brenda? You are still first, no matter what time that it starts. Talk about support. Oh my goodness, the support is real. And I absolutely love it. That goes a very long way. Support goes longer than any dollar could ever. I could receive. (laughs) Oh, yeah, you do it. I appreciate it. And my internet is acting crazy. Okay. It's not letting me type. Hello, hello. Oh. We are just waiting for the guest. Every live is perfect. You think so? Thank you. I appreciate that. I really, really appreciate that. I have learned to make sure that whatever I'm doing, I have a backup for the backup and for the backup. (laughs) Because things can definitely go wrong. And you have to be prepped for that. (laughs) You have to be prepped for that. Hello, everybody. Everybody is coming in. We are ready on a Friday. Oh, my goodness. I'm loving it. The roses. Thank you. All the love. Shout out to 10K Cars, who is the sponsor of this show. Thank you so much. I appreciate that for coming in, you guys. We're just waiting a few minutes, waiting for my guest. He may be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for your donation. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Hello, 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 everyone. I'm just waiting for my guests to come in. We're going to play some music. Boom, da, da, na, 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 na. As we wait, shout out to Creative Art of Expressions. I see you in here. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. I sincerely, really, 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 really appreciate it. Two minutes. Okay. Oh, no, no. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Okay. <laughs> you know, I yeah. to definitely I was going to get you after this. Mm-hmm. Come on, I think I'll feel you. Come on. Uh-huh, no. uh-huh. And I was, out, yeah. uh-huh. I was outside and uh, I saw the call coming through and I'm oh, shit, Charantel, let me head back into the Wi-Fi area. Uh-huh. Yeah, because in Florida, you did you get the card? No, yeah, I got the card right the like code. after six thirty. No, I'm gonna yes. strangle someone. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to strangle someone. <laughs> I definitely and will. And then I was like, "Where's the pictures? Like, mm-hmm. I like to show the pictures." It's, Don't worry. When he come on, when he come on, when he uh-huh. come on, we'll send the pictures over. You know, <laughs> it's one thing to be like, "I have a digital business card," but it's another thing to, to just show them. See it. That's right. 
Yeah, That's right. you have so to the show fans, it. How are the fans doing? Whoa, well, they have like 288 fans I know, on today. I know, this is, this is crazy. I think that people are like at home and they have mm -hmm. nothing to do. Like, no, literally. no, no, they love you. It's not like they have you nothing think, to do. They love you. Do you think so? They love you and they want to show up for you. Even if they were busy, they would have taken the time out to come and say, hey, you know what, I'm going to be here. Oh, okay. wow. I didn't even think about that. Hello. Oh, That's it. There. Hey, guys. How are you? Sister, sister underscore mm -hmm. Pew. Glow That's Parker, it. they said, hello, 10K cards. How did you know I was Glow waiting is for my guest? Glow is in the building. Is he in yeah, here? I, I realize How do I even is? know? There's so many people in here. Hello, everybody. Wow. If he's, if he's here and you want to bounce, he can do it, no problem, but I'll be right here. Okay. Um, oh no, stay right here. That's cool. <laughs> no um, problem. <laughs> I am always so awkward talking um, to the screen. It's so funny. You know that there are people on here, right? Right. But you don't see them. So for me, I know. because I'm old school. I mean, I came before all of this. So right. I need to see the person when I'm having a conversation. But people are listening and they're watching me. But I don't have anyone right. really. I feel like I can talk to <laughs> the vibration. I I'll don't connect with, with I'll be honest with you. Clubhouse, this. Clubhouse, Clubhouse prepared us for this. With the kind of energy yeah. and the, the kind of interaction on Clubhouse. Like, having a conversation uh -huh. like this is so easy. It's so awesome. Can I have a 10K card, please? Of course you can. Oh, DM he said well, I can tap cards. in. Do I tap in uncut? What do I tap in? Okay, he's here. He's ready. If oh, not, ready? I'll bring okay, cool. Back. Guys, yeah. love you. Let's have a great show. Sharon, tell right here. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, bye. bye. All right, bye. 10K cards. Wow. Oh, I got to kick you out, huh? Yeah, leave. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming in. I really appreciate it. Oh, they said I can bring them in. So let's see. I got to find them. Okay, Ooh. I'm going to be on the camera like frozen. <laughs> I wasn't hey. sure if it was this page or not. Oh, my oh, goodness. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's okay. We're going to jump into this. I really appreciate um, your time, and I definitely, I, I apologize for that because I'm definitely looking for oh, no. your the Mr. Page. So, hey uh, there, hey. welcome. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? I am doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm blessed. You know, I can't complain about a thing at Ooh, all. Ooh, can't complain at all. <laughs> it's such a blessing to see another day, right? Oh, it is. It is. It is. Woo. I could take a moment and just think about that. Like, that's a blessing to see another day. And I don't even think people even take a moment to even really think about it. One more, one more time. It was kind of. I said, "Oh, it did it stop a little bit? Oh, probably because we had yeah, we got sure. all these people coming in. They're going to be starting to kick people out. They do that sometimes." Um, oh wow! Yeah, yeah, I know that's real, right? Um, I was right. saying that I don't think people even take back a moment to even think about how blessed we are to see another day. Right, 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 right. Every day is a blessing. It's every day is a blessing. And then some people like really wake up complaining. Yeah, oh. you know, it, it, it's life is too short to be complaining, you know. To see another day oh. free and healthy, you know, that's, it's a blessing, you know. It's such a blessing. So let's talk about it. So I'm Sharon Tell because this is our first time meeting. I'm so grateful oh, for yeah. it. Nice yeah. to meet you, Mr. LPD. Mr. LPD, you yeah. you somebody. I feel like I'm bringing in the Pope, and I'll tell you why. I swear. I was like, I can't wait to talk to him because people were congratulating me, and I was like, what is this? What's going on? Oh, wow. Yeah. And I was like, what's going on? I was like, maybe I'm talking to someone. You know, sometimes you never know who's in the room, right? And it right. feels like one of those things right now in virtual reality, like I don't even know who uh, I may be speaking to right now at this moment. Hey. <laughs> so let's let's talk about it. Oh my goodness. Okay. So where are you originally from? I'll go well, there. Let's start from the beginning. I'm originally from uh Mississippi, North Mississippi. I'm from Tupelo, the town called Tupelo, Mississippi. 
Tupelo, Mississippi. I've never yeah. heard of that place. Oh, wow. Richard Pryor. A lot of people talk about nope, it. Steve, nope. Steve Harvey's talk about it. And on his show, um, um, what was that? Malcolm and Eddie. You know, Tupelo is, you know, it's, it's, it's. Oh, yeah. That's in the celebrity light. But I'm talking about like growing up. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. And it never oh, really okay, came okay. up in conversation. You know what I mean? I'm thinking about like when I was growing up. Um, oh, I, it never really came up in conversation. Really? That is so yeah, dope. Yeah. Wow. How was yeah. it? Well, growing up in Tupelo, I mean, pretty much like any other small town, you know, it's, it's faster than a lot of cities in the state of Mississippi, but pretty much a uh, small town boy growing up, you know. <laughs> that's pretty no that's pretty cool cleveland cleveland ohio was cleveland you know it was pretty dope though because i'm glad that my grandmother raised me like every time when i think about that i'm like oh man i feel like right. i lived the childhood all over again it feels so good to sometimes think about home of course there was right. things that wasn't pleasant you know but there was a okay. lot of things that was good and i'm happy because yeah. here we are you know what right. I mean? Like, there all of that was relevant, yeah, to the day. Right. The upbringing, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. So, how were you doing during this pandemic? Oh, man, the pandemic, um, you know, we kind of try to make the best out of it. But, I mean, it, it, it slowed down a lot of uh, travel, for one. Um, you know, I, I lost I lost my pops during this pandemic. That was, that's oh, like the My down, condolences, down that's. That yeah, is definitely thanks. a downside, yeah. Yeah, Woo. you know, um, you know, other than that, you know, um, just just pretty much social distancing. I don't, you know, do a bunch of the parties and clubbing and all of that stuff. I'm kind of just, you know, low key, um, able to work from um, in house or whatnot, you know, more, and um, just take a lot of time to plot, you know, plan, strategize, and um, just stay safe, you know. But it's I mean, it is what it is. It's changed the whole world. You know, look at look at us going virtual. We, we, we just yeah. be side by side doing this interview. But it's this would have never side. happened. Yeah, <laughs> this I probably wouldn't even be doing the interviews to be honest with you, oh, because wow. before, yeah. yeah, I'll tell you why. Like before the interviews, I was doing speaking engagements, and okay. I had one. Yeah, so last year I had. Oh man, I had them booked all over the place. And oh, I have wow. one booked in Estonia, um, in Europe. I have booked a, a space and a hotel, and I was going to bring 300 business leaders from all over the world. Sold out, right? Wow. I, I mean, I'm doing, I'm doing things that people don't even know, like, this is what I'm doing. That's why everybody has to tap into whatever they have, because right. it's not about always being seen. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the purpose. Right. So, yeah, yeah, I would have been doing that. But then God had another plan and I was down with another it. Another plan. Yeah. Oh, wow. And I was so, down. I was OK with it. So these yeah. conversations started by bringing on friends and let's mm -hmm. just have a conversation. Let's tap in. Check, check. Tap in. Check, check, Mike. <laughs> you good over there? How's the family? <laughs> let's talk about that even in the light of giving people the opportunity that probably wouldn't see you in a personal aspect. Because mm -hmm. they're so used to the entertainment part, they get to actually see that you're human. Right, right. A human connection through the conversation. So that's what this is. That's it turned good, into a good. thing. I and see, I, yo. man, uh, it turned into a thing. Yeah, yeah, thank you. It's so it's a, it's such a blessing. I mean, I've been having conversations like most of my life with my grandmother. So this is just another form of that. That's all. That's all like this that. is. Yeah. Okay. So I will have okay. my coffee. I, I'm going to be drinking that throughout the conversation. Because that's what we would do. We sit at the table. We have a well, drink. I've got a little wine, if you don't mind. Okay, you know? no. Are you kidding me? My conversation <laughs> yesterday, she that's what she had. So I was Ooh. cool with it. It's not even about that. It's long, short. Let, make it sure at least as long as we can vibe, we'll right. be all right through this next hour. So. There you go. And we're vibing so here. far, Mr. LPD. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're vibing oh, yeah. so far. So. You know, so you had the loss, so did I. I had a, quite a few. One of oh, wow. my friends, though, one of my dearest friends, she was 46 years old, right? Ooh. And I seen her early part of the year, right? right. Before I went, I co-hosted an event with uh, Hot Boy Turk in, in okay. Kansas. Okay. So yeah. right before there, I had went to Cleveland, seen her. We had a great time. We listened to music all night long. It was the best time ever. Oh, wow. And that was the last time 
The next time that I seen her, here I am on a microphone saying, you know, things of memories. And oh, out of that came a book. I wanted oh. to, I'm bringing out, yeah, I'm putting out a book soon. It's the mirror that you don't want to see. I think that a lot of us walk around with literally a mask over our face, but we've gotten yeah. to, um, I don't know. Maybe I guess you can get, I guess you can probably call it a matrix being okay with going to work, um, mm -hmm. a little bit of entertainment, a little bit right. of this and that and that. And right. then that's it. Right. We're that's not, it. <laughs> we're not, we're really not going deeper and really looking at life and why we're here and what is the purpose of all of this? Cause it all has a purpose, right? It, it does. It does. Yeah, we're not paying yeah. attention to that. And so I'm hoping, you know, people always say like these conversations should be, oh my God, look who you have on there. It should be bigger and it should be brighter and all of this stuff. And it's like, uh, this is not the time for that. The right. time for it is the people that need to hear it, the people that need this, the need, need to see both of us on here at this moment. They will right. be there. It's not, once again, about a big-ass crowd of people that right. ain't really going to put out the vibrations that we're trying to put out right now so that people can get up and mm -hmm. realize that they can choose their path. No See, matter what it. it looks like, you have that's a choice. It. You that's have right. a choice. I seen that growing up in Cleveland. I uh -huh. don't get in cars with a bunch of people. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> you, but no. you have a choice at that moment, right? What up? You about to? You you need a ride down the? And that's a choice right there. You choosing your path of whether or not you get in this car and you have no idea where they're going, what's going to happen, or what's going to go down, or right. Am I going to go ahead and take that walk and get, and no, you know, my chances is pretty, I may, I may make it home. You right. know what I mean? Without right. all the, the lights and all of that. All, all of the rah-rah. Right. This, this, yeah, all the rah-rah. That's ironic that you, that you mentioned, that you just happened to mention that as an example, because, I mean, we all do have chances and opportunities and situations that'll come up that could turn into either the wrong path or the right path. And I can remember... Years ago, I had an opportunity to go um, with some guys. I mean, they were doing some pretty illegal stuff, but um, they never made it back. You know, they, they got stopped and locked up for like years, like over, over 10 years. So That's me it. taking that moment and saying, no, nah, I don't think I'm going to do this because something else actually came up. And, you know, God, God, God is the cause of everything. So it was a reason something else came up. And um, I wouldn't be sitting here right now talking with you if I had took that trip. So. Yeah, you yeah. Made a, you so made a choose your <laughs> yeah, choose choose your path. That's what it's about. And I right. really do have like unscripted conversations. I don't know where it goes sometimes and it just go and it flows and I just you know, being in media, I'm uh -huh. just don't want things to sound uh like an interview. You know what I mean? Like right. me asking you where you from, I wanna right. go back to the beginning so then I kinda get a glimpse of who I'm talking to. That's right. What That's the right. culture was like. You understand what I'm saying? Because we all right. live in different ways. And different. I was talking to Parnell Damone Marcano from Greenleaf. Um, okay. He was on the other day. We talked on Martin Luther King Day. And he was saying, like, he didn't have that experience that I have. And I said, great. You were, you, you know, you grew up in a, in a great upbringing. You grew up with love. Awesome. We have something right. to talk about. You can share your experience and then I can share my experiences. I don't know why everybody feels like you got to come from the mud in order right. to make some <laughs> shape. That ain't always the case for everybody. But people That's too right. bad That's at right. perception, right? That's that right. ain't the case. We right. have these conversations and we come from two different backgrounds, but it's still relevant right. to the path. Did you choose it? It looks like it. you chose it to me. So come on and let's have a conversation about it. Because I let's only want to talk to people who are evolving. <laughs> I don't want to talk about the same thing over and over and over again. Right. We want to talk about how to evolve, right. how to grow conversations right. that is relevant. You understand what I'm saying? That's right. So. That's yeah, right. I'm happy. That's I'm right. happy that you're here. So who were some oh, yeah. of your biggest Chris. inspirations growing up? Oh, like wow. coming growing through, up. coming up? Well, <laughs> coming up, um, I mean, I was inspired by a lot of different people and things. And it may not have been huge people to everybody else. But like, I mean, I, I play drums. So coming up, you know, I was always, you know, drumming. And there was a local television show in our town. And um, they come on every morning before we go to school. Uh -huh. And I, I, you know, I'd wake up and um, 
I like to see the drummer play the drums. And, you know, it just always made me think, you know, maybe one day I could be on TV or like it showed, it was a, it was a long time uh, film show, but it showed how, you know, it just, it just gave me a dream to like, maybe. Oh, that's dope. So, so yeah. that was like one of, one of the big inspirations. And, um, just um a lot of a lot of the local the local celebrities the local guys well I call them celebrities because they were you know doing doing things that were putting them on local television but you know when, when you're a kid you don't know that you know hey this this station may not even make it you know to to Ohio oh no you don't but, think that no you no know, you just you're just a little kid and you're like well they're, they're on TV they're from my hometown maybe one day I could That's be on true. TV if it's, if it's just this television station so you know a lot of the local guys I looked up to and um. Of course, you know, some of the some of the bigger, you know, TV stars or whatever, but you know, the local people really inspired me and made me feel that, hey, being from Tupelo, Mississippi, I can one day be on television or the radio or whatever I yeah. want to do. You know? yeah. yeah. And that's how I felt about Steve Harvey, because I was like, Whoa, this man right. lived ten blocks for me. Oh, right. Wow. Right. Yeah. And so I learned honestly um, on this journey how to manifest. I really feel like I did. Like I, I, I realized that I can do whatever I want to do. Like I really That's have right. the freedom to do that. But but right. <laughs> there's a That's but right. in that I got to well, fall in love with the process because there's a process there to it. it. It is. It is. Yeah. It's not overnight. It, it's not like, oh, I'm, I'm thinking and I'm like rubbing on the genie and I'm like, can right. I get on TV? It no, ain't that. Gotta... So I seen, yeah, Steve Harvey was that dude for me. And then, so I had to, I had to meet him. You right. know what I mean? I had to meet the person that like made such a significant difference in my life. And mm. we shared the stage together. Literally. Right. Like we shared oh, the wow. stage together and it was pretty dope. How, yeah. And we got, he, it was it, it was amazing. Like we got to sit and really chop it up. We talked about his brother. His brother went to the same high school I went to. You know, we just really, you know, and I wanted to ask him, how do you deal with the two one six number popping up on your phone? Because right. once you reach a certain level and you don't even get to the level, you can be just right. on TV and everybody think you made it. That's right. <laughs> you know, That's like you're right. You're that, absolutely right. I didn't get no. I wasn't ready yet. Like even if I was there, I wasn't. I still wasn't there yet. That didn't happen for me. Yeah. How how long did like for you where you felt like okay, I can you know take care of this and that now? When right. when did you realize that? I mean, well, it's it's still it's still a path and a journey. But I mean, just you know, it it, it, it just kind of I just kind of go with the flow. So it just kind of. You know, it came, it came a time to where it was like, okay, you are on the radio, and uh, I think <laughs> I was like a, a teenager, like one of the the biggest wow. artists in rotation from where I'm from. So I mean, you know, of course, a lot of people they're like, well, hey, you know, you're on the radio, you, you're big because in their mind they may think that radio station is across the world, but it's only <laughs> in Mississippi, Alabama, <laughs> Tennessee. You know, <laughs> we have to go over to, right. to Georgia and go everywhere else to get that you know, notoriety we're trying to get, but right. I, mean, I just kind of went with the flow with everything and, and still, you know, um, you know, it's, it's just, it's just, I just go with the flow that's with nature, everything. That's nature, though. That's, that's, that's it. <laughs> that, you know, when I think about when you say go to go with the flow, that's exactly how nature is. Sometimes you just got to release and just let it go. I, it. I did river tubing. I always talk about this story. I did river tubing a couple years ago. And okay. With the tube. thing about river tubing, yeah, once you get in that tube, you don't really have no control when you're nope. in the river. <laughs> the wind and the water. <laughs> That's it. And you better hope that the current is pretty good because right. if it's not, I, I don't think you're going to have a choice about choosing your path unless you meet the maker and you like, what up, like... I right. see the light, but I can you can you send me back there? You know, like, no, I ain't ready. I'm not ready. You know? <laughs> <laughs> right. I ain't That's ready. Right. That's right. Yes. Yeah, so I, I did it. I, I'm all for it because I'm about experience. Because I want to <laughs> live every bit of this. Like I want to die completely empty. Like when I go up there, he's gonna be like Chantel. Like. I had nothing else left <laughs> for you. Like, come on through and chill. Now you can chill. That's what he's going to say to me. I'm telling you. 
<laughs> so, so yeah, so we get out there. Yeah, I took my son out there, and and we was we were out there for about almost four hours. Just, oh wow! It was the best thing wow. I ever felt. Yeah, I met people along the way, oh, and wow. then you know they have these things called rapids. And I okay. call them little mini tornadoes. They like right there in the water, like I'm yeah. Sorry, and me. they take you under. They do. Oh, like wow. you, if you hit a big enough one, yeah, they take you under. And you, once again, you gotta like just let go because I mean, if you don't, you can drown in those things. Yeah, and you get, sounds, you know, you freak out. <laughs> yeah. So that's how life is. Basically, I could go all around and everybody was like, "That's no, how ahead. life is." Like you gotta do that. So my son, he ended up in the swamp. Oh, and wow. the swamp was, yeah, the swamp was, like, this thick with bugs. And he got a crazy bug phobia. So Ooh. here he is, like, uh, you know, freaking out. And right. it's like, you just need to swim over. And he was literally not that far away. And he an avid swimmer. He's not that far away. And I'm like, come on, just come on. Like, I don't right. want to, we're not about to climb up the mountain. Right. Whole big, yeah. And you know what happened? <laughs> we happened? ended up having to climb up the mountain because... Oh, wow. He was afraid. And can you believe people are living like that right now, not realizing, like, one idea, one mm -hmm. phone call, mm -hmm. one email away, but they won't even send the email. They right. won't ask the question. They won't try. They right. just sit there in the swamp, just like my wow. son did, and they make it so much harder than it needs to be. And now yeah. you're climbing at this mountain. And right. if you make one slip wrong on the mountain, guess what happens? That's it. You fall. That's it. That's it. You out of That's there. Yeah. You out of there. So I take every, I say that to say that all the experiences is relevant if you look at the lesson in it. I mean, right. even if you go skydiving, there's a lesson in that as well. I find a lesson in every single thing. And I learned that from my grandmother. Because I had to That's wonder, good. like, how the heck do you make it to 80 years old with your mind? You got to right. be protecting it and doing something right. And my aunt, she called me the other day. She's 90. She Ooh, don't wow. take no medicine. We were talking about that the other day. And he said, um, he said, nothing. I'm like, no, she don't take nothing. But she partied. She still go to the club. She party? <laughs> yeah, she still. Oh, wow. That's what Are makes her happy. Yeah, I am. I'm so serious. Oh, wow. Yeah. She don't That's miss good, the though. Thursday nights. Yeah, yeah. she was still going. Yep. Oh, wow. And they talked about her. And all the people that talked about her, they all gone. You know what mm. I mean? Mm. <laughs> like, they all gone. Wow. So that's, that's so a let's long talk about you. In your family. <laughs> you, you were entertainment executive. How? Yeah. What, what is? What was that? What well, is that? <laughs> entertainment, uh, entertainment executives. I mean, I make a lot of things happen behind the scenes for a lot of different entertainers, not just recording artists or models or whatever for different entertainers. So I yeah. mean, we can we can go back and come up, but I mean, starting out, like I said, um, you know, I, I was drumming or whatever, but. I guess around fifth grade, maybe fifth grade, I started trying to get into the more into the arts or whatever, you know, just my artistic side was just going to burst out. It's like, okay, you want to drum, you can draw, you can paint. Um, like fifth grade, I had a teacher, Miss Hopkins, and she was she was one of those teachers that came up in the arts. So certain students, she would see, uh -huh. you know, that artsy side. She could see the she gift. Would do is, <laughs> she could see it and she, yeah. she would even take time on her off days you know and uh, take like me and maybe two other people to like art museums um the the theater where they did opera and all of that stuff you know just trying to give us a, a different aspect you know of life and that year i actually had a painting made the front of the paper it actually made um the, the museum it went to the art museum it was on exhibit and everything and um you know she was one of those that was always focused on, you know, do do your talent. Use your talents, use your gifts. Uh, don't be scared to dream. You can do it. And um, oh. maybe that next year, yeah, that, that next year I'm like, okay, um, you know, I do I do the drumming. I think I want to, you know, try, you know, rapping or whatever. You know, it was a little local rappers on the radio, and I'm like, I think I can do that, you know. And uh -huh. um, started, started dibbling and dabbling with that. And um, what, maybe – Three, four years later, you know, that's when I started getting like a little radio play and all of this stuff or whatnot. But 
you know, just Did all we call that, it you little know, radio just, play? Radio play is Well, big. I mean. It, no, it, it we cannot. I'm not going <laughs> to let you say little in my presence. You're not going to let me do it. <laughs> hey, okay, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to bring it and be like, oh, no, that is huge. Let me tell you, when... Okay. When um my first client was Focus, right, from mm -hmm. Aftermath, and I do say his name because when you go through some of the things that I have made it through and for someone to believe in you and say yes, and mm -hmm. that yes is not yet like, hey, cling on to me and be like a spectator. That no. yes says you're going to eat and your family is going to eat and you're going to oh, eat yeah. for like 10 years plus because I've been in there business. You go. I, I feel like it's pretty good. I mean, I've been over 10 years. That's good. That's good. Like, so, that, that's pretty good. I didn't realize how good that was, though, because, you know, Bishop Jake said, you know, sure and tells a lot of women starting businesses, but they're not lasting. So right. that's good. You know, you right. got that deep voice. Oh, and yeah. I was like, oh, okay. So I'm like, trust the process. Says, keep going make sure you nurture your relationships check in and say hey what's up you need anything can i how can i help you that's right it's nothing more irritating for people to reach out to me and i didn't see them share a flyer i didn't see them like go. leave a dm and say hey what's up you good over there how can i help you is there, there you some go. service that i offer that would be you know i don't it, I don't see that at all. Very few and in between. And maybe it's supposed to be that way because everybody is not going to go. That's just the, that, that's, right. that's just it. That's just it. That's right. How that's do you, <laughs> that's the realization. Like, how do you yeah. um, connect and collab and work with Gucci and Gucci Mane <laughs> and uh, well, David that, Banner? Like, how, how, how did that come about? Well, We'll start with um, David Banner because he was first. Now, um, like I okay. said, you know, early as a, as a young young teen, I started, you know, doing the music and whatnot, getting uh, the big radio play. You know, we ain't gonna downplay it. No you know, and, back um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I end up um, meeting a guy that was um, he was in a he was in a rap group or whatever. They was doing we was doing a show down in Mississippi. It was a pretty pretty big show for us because we had a lot of big. Um, you know, Memphis rappers and other stuff on the show. So right. uh, that guy, me and him, you know, we, we built a relationship. And um, within the next couple of years, you know, he told us that he does graphics and whatnot. So we started getting him to do like a lot of the um, artwork for like um, um, at my albums, and, my albums and stuff. And um, what he did was when David Banner was, I guess, getting on the scene or whatnot, he was telling me, he was like, you know, you're in Atlanta. We got another guy that's from Mississippi. He's about to take off. You know, I'm doing artwork for him. Maybe you should reach out to him and y'all collab. And, you know, at that time, mm -hmm. I'm like, uh, you know, I never heard of this guy. Who is he or whatever? Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I want to do it. But, you know, he started, we started seeing, you know, his body of work. He was grinding. So I'm like, you know what? It might not be a bad idea. So I had another guy from Mississippi. We were supposed to do a song together, uh, me, him, and David Banner. And he was pretty. He was pretty big at the time. He was doing stuff with Rashida and a lot of oh, that's a, a, dope. A, 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 um, Buju Banner, like a lot of different people. Jagged Edge. So he was busy. He didn't get to do the song with us. And um, I kind of just put it off because I wanted him on it real bad. But one day David Banner called and he was like, "Yo, we're gonna do this record or what?" And I'm like, "You know what? Let's do it." So Let's go. we ended up doing that record. You know, we did a record called Mississippi Boys, and um, I mean, it was a pretty dope record. It got a lot of radio play. And maybe three, four months later, David Banner gets uh he gets he gets his big he gets his big deal. He get, he finally gets his break. And I'm like, wow, you know, um a guy from Mississippi at a radio station, he'd been rotating that song we did, and he called, he said, Yo, I got Banner up here at the station. Um, he's gonna be doing a video or whatever, you know, I'm reaching out to you, you in Atlanta, he's gonna do it in Atlanta, yada yada. And um, you know, Banner invited me out to the video shoot or whatever, and you know, that was Kind of the gist of me, the me and David Banner, but we we met on the count of um, designer who was an artist, and um, it kind of just you know put us together. It just and, and, and The guy that was supposed to be on the song with us is funny because we to do the um, thing with David Banner, uh -uh. he was there, so we had a chance to kind of really connect, and we built a we built a nice relationship. Which he was on the label that you know put Gucci Mane's uh, Trap House out first. And uh, me and mm -hmm. me and that guy just kept a relationship, 
and um, we started going to the studios together. And Gucci at the time was, you know, recording the Trap House. So that's kind of how that relationship <laughs> was built. It was, it was like the the design, the, the rapper turned designer introduced me to David Banner. The the David Banner song with me, him, and the guy that didn't make it never happened. But Banner invited me to a video <laughs> shoot where that guy was. So we connected, and, and they he grew. connects and introduces me to Gucci. And um, it's just one of those connect the dot stories. I tell everybody, you got to connect the dots in this business. Yeah, like, you do. Yeah, everything you do. Everything is, is connecting the dots, you know, and that, that's yeah. what puts that puzzle together. So, yeah, that was... You're a um, valuable, you're a valuable individual, <laughs> though, because the only way to connect the dots is to bring value to people. I mean, if you're not really bringing anything right. to the table, then what's the point? Right <laughs> I learned that's that, right. you know what I that's mean? Right. I kind of learned that. And, you that's know, right. and I, we can't work with everybody, but the ones that we work with, it works. Uh -huh. Right, and right. There you go. You go. There it you go. works. I'm a strong that's, right Oh, there. to go back to the radio thing. So, oh, yeah. Focus did, a, he, um, he produced a song, 112, okay. right? And okay. when you hear it on the, when he heard it, when he explained the story about when he heard it on the radio, he had to pull over to the side of the road. Mm -hmm. so that's a pretty big deal for something that you create. And, you and hear then it. now it's it's not just on the radio; it's being broadcast. That's right. a that's a that's a big deal. For so your music years. was brought. You you've been on the radio. You've worked with some amazing people. You're right. also one of the things that really stuck out to me, which I absolutely love is journalist oh, how, yeah. how did <laughs> you <Yeah>. can write <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> i don't I, mean I to gonna, say it like <laughs> no it's not I mean, right but that's a great gift to have it is, it is yeah it is. um that's something i mean i always you know like like to write or whatever and diddle and draw and doodle and all of this stuff but just 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 writing like um the first time I had an opportunity to, I guess, do a story for somebody. It was, um, it goes back to the whole connecting the dots thing. Um, another <laughs> guy that was from Mississippi who had moved to Atlanta and uh, had to, had the same relationship with that designer guy that put the David Banner puzzle Ooh, pieces together. He a valuable okay, individual. This guy, <laughs> I, like, this guy is in Atlanta. And um, he told him to kind of get with me and me and him, you know, we, we connected at a club because uh, mm -hmm. they were doing an open mic or something. And I was in there dealing with some DJs. But that guy said, um, hey, you from Mississippi. Um, you're the one with the song with Banner. We heard it. They played it on the radio in Atlanta at that time. So he was like, I heard the song. Um, we, we got a magazine that we're, we're dealing with out of Mississippi. I want to talk to you about it. And I'm like, OK, you know, maybe. It's an ad or any any anything that could you know boost whatever I'm doing at the time. But yeah. once we talk, you know, it, it turned into a position because I started like writing, but it was like a, I guess a, a ghostwriter thing, like just contributing, and somebody else gets the credit. Oh, I've but, done that for yeah, years. Yeah, you know, just, you know, yeah. just, just, just letting them get the credit. But that's kind of how it started. I'm like, you know what? I can kind of dig this. And um, maybe 2011 or 12, um, a and R from Universal Records who'd known about my music when he was in college. <laughs> I was so he, excited about this story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he started a magazine for independence. And um, me and him um, connected with another guy from Universal Records. And that uh -huh. guy saw, um, I buy ads in different magazines. So that guy saw an ad I bought. And um, he called me and everything. We talked and I'm like, you know, I'm not, I wasn't interested in what he was selling, but he was like, well, <laughs> I told him who I was and where I was from. And he's like, huh? He's like, nah, I'm the, the guy that runs um, our, our magazine that works for Universal, he's from that same city. Uh, I've never heard of you. So he called that guy on a conference call with me. And, um, you know, he's like, hey, I got this guy on the phone. He, he he's got your co-signer. Yeah, you know, and <laughs> he's like, who's on the phone? And he's like, um, some guy, LPD. And he's like, Mr. LPD? And I said, yeah. And he's like, the real one? And I'm like, yeah. So he's like, uh, man, we was playing you down at Jackson State. And, you know, we just got into a big, you know. That is so and, awesome. Yeah. And he told me about the magazine. And he's like, um, you know, I'd, I'd like to get you a part of it. And I, I told him about the experience of, you know, writing for another one. And yeah. And he took me up on the offer. He gave me um, artists to do an interview on. 
And um, I turned it in, like, what, within 24 hours. And he was like, yo, that's dope. He was like, you, you, you really did a dope interview. You edit, you, like, everything was right. I did the editing and everything. So that was like, hey, you, you're hired. And um, that's what turned into Uncut Illustrated Magazine because maybe, what, five, six years later or whatever, all the grind and, and work that I put in with that magazine, he was like, you know what? You brought a lot to the table, sponsorship, that, uh, yeah. whole new design team. You guys want That's to kind it. Of branch off. <laughs> yeah. That's where this uncut thing comes from. That's so. the whole operation. Yeah. So you have that on <laughs> the job. You have that on the job <laughs> training. Like me. Like I ain't know I didn't honestly, I ain't even know what a publicist was. I still be sometimes like, what? Like that's oh, wow. yeah. Um, folks was like, "You gonna be my PR?" And so right. I ain't want to ask him because I I hate to ever look like you know something. You gotta just go find on your own, and you'll be telling right. people like, "Oh, well, I'm not, oh no, I do that." Then they gonna be like, "Oh, I can't depend on you." Like you gotta be able to go out and seek the answer. You, you know go. what I mean? There you you already in the team. You're on the team. So now you got to seek the answer. So he said, you were my PR. I was like, oh, okay. So then I started looking it up, and I was like, oh, okay. So I got to do a lot of writing. I got to right. do a lot of talking. Right. And I don't know. For me, I didn't really Probably do related. red carpets. Red carpet really wasn't my thing um, up until maybe a couple years ago when, when Tyrese did The Shame. He did, like, a short film, uh -huh. Shame. That was right. my first red carpet, but that was years on the end after working and grinding. I was going to the clubs, uh -huh. you know, at nighttime in New York City with the DJs. DJs oh, is wow. important. Would you tell the they artists are. how important the DJ is? The DJs, <laughs> are, the DJs are very important. Um, the DJ is so important. A, 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 yeah, that goes into a whole nother aspect. Because once, you know, I'm done with the David Banners and the, the Gucci's and everything, it's like, Okay, everybody's rapping. It's like behind the scenes, breaking records and everything yeah. on, on that level was like, hey, this is this is what you want to tap into. And I was already pretty good at DJing and stuff anyway. So um, yeah. I got with um, um, some DJ coalitions and um, I got a guy, he pulled me into um, actually the, the first real one was the So So Deaf DJ. And um, I mean, it was a lot. It was a lot of fun. You got um the, the franchise boys like they were on their that way. That is so, so dope. We, we you know we we we're, we're on the road with with them. You got um Escape was making their return. Um Young Capone who's now oh you hot raw. hot. You know it's just uh, <laughs> Young Jock, but Young Jock was actually like um uh, the mic guy for um I think her name was um Miss B. She was she was an artist so so Dev was focusing on and nobody knew he rapped or anything. He just you know, he's being humble. He's doing his, his, his mic guy, bad guy. And maybe uh, some months later, we start hearing it's, it's going down, you know, and we're like, who is this young jock? And we see we see him and we're like, this dude that was on the tour that was just the humble mic guy and the bad guy. And he's this big, this big thing now, you know, so. Wow. wow. And, and that comes from me being a part of the DJ coalition side of it. So. DJing, the DJs are very important. That's, that's oh, they're so from. important. They're they yeah. so important that I worked with a DJ so I could be alongside and see what he actually does. Because it's one thing to be right. a spectator and see the DJ with the, you know, with the records and do what he do, you know, right. and be out there. But it's another thing to actually see what happens during the day and how the deals are being made and how the, the, things are getting booked all of those things are important to know too i want to know what you do it is so it yeah is. i pr for a couple of djs and that was pretty dope yeah oh, that was yeah? pretty dope i work with dj butter rock in atlanta he's a celebrity I've heard, dj I've heard of, I've heard you've of heard of him rock, um, yeah yeah well, um i was um at an event for for a major artist on the, you know doing my dj stuff some years ago and he was promoting uh <laughs> to DJ stuff. yes but yeah. that's his <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. That's his artist. <laughs> yeah, so. and I'm telling you, if don't nobody else believe in their artist, he believes in his artist. He does. <laughs> <laughs> and that was that was that was years ago, and I'm you know they was they I think they gave us a little CD, some DVD or something. I'm like, okay. And I mean, they, they, hey, they're still at it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they still at it, and you know still they at was it. at it because you remember the name. <laughs> Because yeah, I've yeah. seen a lot of artists come and go, and I don't remember their name unless they really made a significant difference because they was working. 
Right. It's, right. A, it's the hustle. It's isn't the it? hustle. Whether it's, whether it's good or bad, let me tell you, I got a lot of music in my phone that I just purchased based okay. upon me seeing them promote themselves and promote themselves and not giving up. I got to respect it. that. That's it. You can't never give up. Can't never give up. <laughs> I got to respect that. That's like the dude in New York City running around selling water. I got to buy a bottle because he out here hot. <laughs> And he's carrying all that. I got a problem. That's right. That's right. That is so funny. That's right. The acting. I want to touch. I'm trying to touch. You like, oh, you got it. Yeah, you got this it. is this is like a walk in, hurry up, virtual <laughs> like no. uh, documentary with you. Like, this is <laughs> crazy. <laughs> um, The acting. I, I, I seen HBO's Outsiders. I seen um, Stars P Valley, which was. That was that was a pretty dope series. I have to binge on them because I I be I be tunnel vision focused on stuff that I do. So when I do take that right. time away, I'm binging on it. Like I'm just <laughs> and right. that's it. I'm sitting you back. You see and something I'm different every sick. time you watch it. Every single time. I think I need to after talking to you go back and watch it again. But it was just oh, yeah. so many. <laughs> it was just so many different aspects to that that I absolutely it. <laughs> I absolutely enjoy. I, I love the fact that I'm from yeah. Cleveland, Ohio. I love um, the fact that I got to see the the guys, the hustlers around me do right. what they do there because I was observing and I was right. taking notes. And people right. always ask, like, how do you do that? Because I, I just took notes and I observed. And that's what I want people to do. I want people to, like, really, like, wake up and pay attention to what's going on in the world. Be aware That's right. of That's what's right. real, of That's course, right. but never let go right. of the dream. But you gotta be aware. You gotta, you gotta be aware. You gotta wake up. Never. So, how did the never acting? How did that come about? Acting. The whole acting thing. <laughs> we'll go back to um, the guy Ooh. that we sp was supposed to be on the song with David Banner. <laughs> Okay. I met at the shoot of Batters yes. that introduced me to Gucci Mane. He's we still around right we now? Thought, we did a, we, yeah, that guy, yeah, he's around. Yeah. Okay, um, thank God. We started he's a hanging out and, yeah, he's, yeah, we, we talked we talk every week, but um, we started hanging out and, you know, going to clubs to promote the records we were doing and whatnot. And uh -huh. um, there was a guy in the club one night and he's, um, you know, he looks important, you know, and I'm, I'm one of those people. You know, I'm, I want to know, hey, what you know, what, what's your deal? What do you do? So he was like, you know, I'm a film producer <laughs> or whatever. So I'm like, oh, where you do movies? You do videos? He's like, yeah, I do it all. He's like, matter of fact, I'm filming a movie, um, M.O.B. Murder on Bankhead. It was, it was a small independent film, but he's like, we're filming a movie tomorrow. We're doing a scene. Uh, won't you come out? And I'm like, that's uh, big. Can I can I be a part of it? And he's like, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Just Instead of small, so I go out that's and, big. Um, well, you know, yeah, you know, it was it was a big opportunity. It was the, it was door number one, and I mean, I got a few roles in that um that that you know this independent film. I got a few roles in that, and it made me say, you know what, I want to try, you know, just see if I can get in more. And um, a good friend of mine, he was an R and B artist. He's actually from Ohio, and oh, um, he's okay, a good Ohio. friend of mine. Yeah, he um introduced me to um I don't know if you're familiar with Roe Brooks from um uh, the the Wire. Um, he's been on a lot of the Tyler Perry stuff, TV commercials. He's he's pretty pretty big deal, you know. Um, he introduced <laughs> me to him because he had a record store in Lithonia, Georgia, and um, for whatever reason, he's like, I know if I introduce you to him, you'll figure out some kind of way to make it make sense. So, right, right, you know, exactly. I, I'm dealing with with Ro, the actor, at his record store, and um, you know we're in there just talking, and I'm telling him, you know, well, you know, I did rap or whatever before I got behind the scenes. And I'm looking around, I'm like, I see a lot of like Paul Wall's project. I see a lot of projects that I'm on and produced on that I produce as well. And um, I show it to him and I'm like, that's me and that's my name. And he took a very, he took oh, an interest crazy. in me. He's like, oh, word. So yeah, he's like, uh, you're not just, you know, bullshitting. So he's like, okay, that's, that's you for real. You ever thought about doing music for movies? And I'm like, I've thought about it, but I never knew the outlet or which way to go. So he's like, you know what? Get my number. I'm going to turn you on to some producers. And um, he turned me on, this this will be the second movie, he turned me on to a guy who was working on a film based on, um, it, was a young, it was a young black girl in Alabama back in the 80s. And it's a true uh -huh. story. They um, think they took her organs out of her body. 
like the uh -huh. sheriff or somebody in the town. Like it's, mm -hmm. it's um, the Holloway mm -hmm. story. You can you can look it up. But he he introduced me to that guy, and that guy uh, was like, you know, you want to come out, be an extra on a party scene. I'm like, yeah, whatever. You know, it's it'll be seen. I'll do it. And um, uh -huh. I did it pretty good. And he was like, uh, when it was over, I kind of hung around. And he's like, he's just hanging around. He's like, you want a speaking role? I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> so he's like, <laughs> you're willing to drive like almost an hour away from Atlanta. He's like, um, you're good. And I'm like, we're right behind you. <laughs> we're right behind the crew. So um, Don't we say went no more. And, um, yeah, we went and um, he said, okay, we got a speaking role. How, how, how quick can you memorize these lines? And I'm like, you know, I, I, I mean, I can do it or I can kind of add, me. I'm going to make it work. You know, I'm not going to drop the ball. And um, we did it. I did it great. It rolled. That is you know, wow. rolled in the he gave me some pointers. He's like, yo, you know, I like that, but do this, put this emotion with this. And I took all that to heed, you know, and I still use, I still use that to this day. But that was the, um, like, okay, now I think I really can do this. Let me get with some real casting agents and, you know, really connect the dots. And um, I ended up getting with a guy, I think they're from New York. They got a film company. And um, they were looking for um, locations. And I'm one of the guys that a lot of people used to call, like, yo, we need to shoot a video. And, you know, that, you know, that goes oh, into that, that stuff. Oh, God. So yeah. Like, yeah. So I'm like, okay, I got, a, I got a spot you guys can do the scene at. And um, I'm like, can I, can I be in the scene and pretend I'm a DJ? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, um, yeah, you get the you get the location, yeah, you can do that. So we get there and they get everything they want, and it's like um they're not gonna do the DJ scene. And I'm like, wait a minute, you know, hey, this this was uh, very important. We were gonna do the DJ scene, you know, that's how I got you guys the connection. And he's like, mm -hmm. um, you wanna be a bartender? I'm like, oh hell yeah, just uh, you know, I'll get a rag, some glasses, I'll be the bartender. And um, we did that scene, and he was he's like how it went. He's like, You wanna you wanna just talk a little bit? And I'm like, Yeah, so that was like a little. Well, uh, it was a it was a speaking role. I'm not gonna say little. That's, my, that's, that's not what I'm learning little. Tonight. That's what I'm learning tonight <laughs> with you. N nothing little. So that opportunity <laughs> led to other opportunities. And um, I mean, the, the P Valley thing. It's from a agent that I was dealing with for a while. And um, the lady reached out to me 2018, and she was telling me about this show, based in Mississippi, strip club. And I'm I wasn't interested. The money it wasn't like a bunch of money, but it's a uh -huh. paid situation. So I'm like, okay, whatever, you know, and she just kept on, every month just kept like, hey, um, this show, this show, this show, and I'm like, well, is it going to be at the theaters? Like, what is this? And she's like, uh, we don't know yet, but this show, this show, this show, and I just kind of, I still didn't want to deal with it, but but 2019, like the first quarter, she had more detail, and she's like, okay, this, that, and the third, strip club, Mississippi, uh, it's going to be on Stars. She's um, giving you the entire synopsis. She, she, she's breaking it down. <laughs> and she's okay. like, you know, there, there's going to be, um, we got uh, Doughboy's crew and Lil Murder's crew. And, uh -huh. um, you know, I'm like, okay, I don't I don't know who either, none of these people are, but I like where we're going with this strip club. <laughs> right. To get to the strip club all day. And um, I'm from Mississippi. <laughs> it's from Mississippi. I'll try it. So we get there, and I, I did some scenes for the Doughboy's crew, which... I don't want to, you know, tell his whole situation, but they right. ended up cutting all of that out. They kept Little Murders Crew or whatever, but um, that's kind of how the P Valley thing started, and we did it from so first dope. quarter to like July or August of 2019, and um, they cut me out of a lot of scenes, but the experience was cool for me. And working on, um, you can see me real good. Episode five, it's like they gave me my. It's like, hey, it's all on you, and I'm like, wow. Day before my birthday. On set with Isaiah Washington, the the the, the big actor. Oh Isaiah my Washington. goodness! He introduces himself. We shake hands, and I'm like, "Whoa, this guy's been in um, Girl Six, and you know he's worked with Spike Lee and everybody, and he's just giving us a pep talk." And I'm like, "Man, I'm I'm really feeling this." And that you, was that was a, you, that was a scene that was like, I didn't even know. Did you like say it, yes? You chose it's, the it's path. There. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> and it, it opened up the doors <laughs> because you could have easily said, nah, "I'm cool." Right, I could have said no again. Right, right. You could have said no, but path, you didn't. I, I didn't. And choosing that path, yeah. the set of P Valley, it was so many people that did so many other things. So Man, that makes me so people. happy to hear. 
Yeah. I met people that put me in touch with uh, casting directors for like music videos and, you know, paid, paid situations, all of them. And I figured out like, yo, this, just like music, it's a hustle. Like those guys are in there. The, the background extras, the all of makeup it. people, the wardrobe all people. Of it. Like it's it's a it, the the chef. Like it, it's a it's a whole world of its own, and it's a uh -huh. hustle. And I just I just I, I fell in love with it, and you know, um, <laughs> I, I went to dinner with some others that I met there, and that's how the HBO Outsider situation came about. So, I mean, you know, it's just it's just one of them things that God's like, okay, if you press yes on this button there'll be another door you press it's like it's a pass yeah you know? and you gotta choose it though you, you got to and the only thing um i think uh february of last year that was the last you know like like big filming something for it was for nbc and you know the pandemic all of this this, this, this craziness yeah. started so you know it's it's Oh wow. man, yeah, isn't that crazy? <laughs> those, yeah, <laughs> my last my last event was in March, and then that was it. Done, that done, was done. Out of here. But it. in February it was dope though. I went to all these cool galas, you know. Yeah. I even I even got a a, a Bentley drop top, whatever. <laughs> I was doing it all up. Right. Oh, wow. I'm like I'm going. But then I could I get in the car and the gown is too big, and I'm like I really didn't think this through. So oh, what they did was they took care of me. They got me this uh, Lamborghini BMW with the driver, though. Oh. And so then, I yeah, I went to these parties. I got to meet uh, Floyd Mayweather Sr. and uh, okay. Marla Gibbs is over here. And it was a lot of other people. And Star Wars, the, the original Star the Wars, original. they was there. Yeah, yeah, eating on gold plates and just living life. And oh, not wow. realizing that. He's like, I hope you enjoying this moment because this <laughs> this is gonna be it's it. About you to about be. to go in. <laughs> and you know what? You you know what? That's um that's kind of what I got out of it because like I said, February we were filming some of stuff with um Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Yeah. And, um, oh wow. It it was it was real fun. Everything was it was what it was. I'm like, okay, you know, we got more more opportunities coming this year. We're preparing for the South by Southwest Music Festival. Right. And the week That's of South by Southwest, they shut everything down. <clears throat> and I'm like, And wow. they was even you know, they I'm was even taking time here, with that decision. Stuff. Right? With with yeah, the yeah, they, with, with right. the um yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they was taking their little time with it. They weren't sure. Years, it never had been canceled. Yeah, I remember so, that. So they were wow. like, you know, we don't know if we want to do it or cancel it or what, but, this you know, it was, it was, that was one of the things, you know, I look forward to going to every year because going back to the, I guess, journalism hat that I wear, you know, uh -huh. I, I look forward you to wear many. covering, you know, <laughs> I, I like covering <laughs> South by Southwest, uh, BT experience, uh, VMA, like I, I enjoy that stuff. So <laughs> when all of that was canceled, it's like, what? Like it was time to chill. Like, what do we do? <laughs> it was it was time to chill and uh, come up with the uh, the blueprint. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You know what I mean? Like strategize. strategize. If this is the time to heal, heal. Get yourself Fresh together, but you got to get back in the game. <laughs> At That's some it. point, you got to get back to the table and play the game because the, the pieces are you. already moving whether or not you're there. They That's moving. Right. So That's right. you got to get in That's the right. game. So That's what right. are we, where are we working on now? I know that the hour has gone by so fast. Wow. Well. I, this, that, that always amazes me. So what do we have? Like, well, right now, <laughs> right, right now, um, I do have a new project that I'm putting <laughs> out. I, I just, I did, um, I got a Christmas thing I do. Cause you know Christmas stuff never gets old. So, uh, Player Type yeah, Christmas. We did a video for Player Type Christmas. Uh, yeah, yeah. We did a video for it the week <laughs> of Christmas, and it was released that same week. So that's you know it was a little music to kind of tie them over. But like right okay. now, Mac into Society. That's um, a new album I've got coming out. Mac into Society, and um, you know it's it's it, it's 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 more catering to. Uh, the lifestyle something else we didn't really we didn't really tap into but oh um, we didn't that, and it, let me tell you we because i can lifestyle. i can have that conversation <laughs> okay i can That's, talk about you any, know. <laughs> every single thing i can talk to anybody okay seriously right. like i brought right. on steve sims right. he's the hollywood's millionaire guy that's the guy you go to 
if you want to take you and your lady and you want to go have dinner with the Pope in Italy, he make it happen. So we had uh, a conversation on here, oh, live on Instagram, and we was just tapping it up. And it's amazing some of the right. people that want to come on, and I'm like, Let, I'm about to start the podcast, so you can come on over to the podcast. We're going to be on all digital platforms, <laughs> me. I, I, I but I it, love, it, I, it takes a team, <laughs> you, right? Yeah, we got to do that. So that. What's, um, <laughs> y'all know you're going to have a lot of projects coming up, and we would definitely need okay. to tap it up. Wow, that would have been a dope it, um, conversation to have. We may be able to get our, our, our we may be able to get you Ooh. some. Uh, they may sponsor. That's um, this uh, this is uh, I'm a brand ambassador for Touch, and uh, they're oh, one of my sponsors, yeah. and they just made me a market manager, like crazy. Oh but, yeah, uh, so we definitely need to talk because it's coming out from another. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Cre create true know. art yeah. with yeah, create true yeah. art with Sharon Tell. I even showed some of the one of the art pieces that I got with Marvin Gaye. Oh my goodness, Ooh, wow. I gotta have him. Yeah, he gotta be back there. I need his energy. He said, "What's That's in the it. bottle?" <laughs> yeah, touch is in the bottle. <laughs> touch is in the bottle. So yeah, we definitely need to keep in. <laughs> we definitely need keep to keep in touch. In touch. <laughs> yeah, we. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that something? How but, that just flowed away? Did it flow? It, it 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 just flows. But we're looking forward to That's having a nice you in the next issue of Uncut Illustrated. Yes, thank and, um, you. Yeah, that that should be out. Um, we, we instead of doing the first of every quarter, we're gonna try something different. The last month of each quarter, because we're quarterly. So you'll 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 be in there. And um, the one I'm right real now, happy about that. Doing, fifth anniversary issue you know we were we were real excited about oh that. and i got a gift um, i got a gift for you before yeah. we go <laughs> i'm gonna what send it to you in, oh, in wow. the uh, under the uncut so this is a digital <laughs> business card right so you're gonna have to give okay. me whatever links or whatever you want me to share and i'll have them added the, i'll have the designers added to you with you okay. however however that go I like um that. i have I like a sponsor that. for my live ig series i have a sponsor for my live ig series 10k cards 10k cards is a digital okay. business card where that, I mean, even if you wanted to add booking or consultation or videos, everything, even mm. if you have Linktree, we add that to it because, you know, people have that. So I'll give you the link and then you just put the link in the bio and whoever needs to connect with you, all they have to do is scan that. And it literally comes up like an app on your phone. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. It looks like okay. an app. Like mine's and my face is right under Netflix. Like. <laughs> oh wow so yeah it's pretty oh, wow. cool so th oh, that's wow. my gift to you and i'm gonna send it i, I gotta send it over to you yeah 10k cards thank, yes 10k cards is amazing thank look men i arts he know because he's he's an amazing graphic artist he worked with some he worked with some people yeah he's that dude oh, wow. he was on the, he was on the show too oh, i wow. love talking to him. yeah i love talking so love at the end okay. of every conversation because i know they kick people off at the end of each conversation, um, I always ask the question, if you could give us one word or a sentence, something to help us motivate us as we continue to move forward. I know it's good. It's glitching one more time. over you an were, hour. You were kind of okay. going in and I, well, part, uh -oh. Uh -oh. I'll say it over. Um, the question is either give us one word or a sentence, something to help us as we continue to move forward, something motivating or inspiring. Prayer. You get to choose. <laughs> pray, pray, <laughs> pray very hard. <laughs> That's then the I one word. A <laughs> that <give> is. <laughs> Brian, say to That's the up. one word. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's all. That's it. <laughs> That's all we That's need it. to pray. We just need to pray. That is it. Pray Thank you. Hard. Oh my goodness. This has been an amazing hour. I am so grateful for you. Love, I, I'm, light. I, I've enjoyed myself. I thank you for energy. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Oh, I get yeah. to do this over and over and over again. This is living. To me, like you this live is living. Yeah. <laughs> I got a lineup. I'm doing this every day you next week, it. and I usually only do it twice a week. I'm living. So this is good. It's been a glow. 
<laughs> I don't wear all that makeup. So I don't wear too much of that. This is a this is it blowing is. from me. I'm happy. Like this is cool. So I really appreciate you for your gift of time because you have given me something that's really that you can't get back. You gave me some of that, and I really, I really, when I say I appreciate you, I appreciate you. Thank you. I know it's freezing up. It's like get off. Okay. <laughs>